We begin with News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald Live. As the TBI tells us, information from neighbors and his family helped them identify the suspect. Absolutely key are the words that TBI director David Roush chose to describe the calls that came from the public that led them to Anthony Warner. Solid tips led them to his property, and now they're hoping more solid information helps them explain this man's motivation. He was not on our radar. Uh, he was not someone that was, uh, that, that was identified uh, as a person of interest uh, for the Bureau. Anthony Warner is virtually a stranger to law enforcement, so to get to know him, they're meeting with people he was connected to. These pieces of information will help us understand the suspect's motives. These answers won't come quickly and will still require a lot of our team's effort. With the FBI, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigations is now trying to reach Warner's close contacts, including neighbors. One told the Associated Press, Warner said days before the bombing, Nashville and the world are never going to forget me. Police say they're talking to Warner's mother, too. We're trying to get some history uh, as best we can. Uh, and so that's that's really the, the, uh, the role that we are uh, doing in terms of, of the motive. The TBI is the agency that placed Warner at the RV that exploded. Forensic scientists matched DNA from a hat and gloves belonging to him with tissue at the crime scene. Some salvaged parts of the RV also had a vehicle identification number registered to him. They were utilizing techniques that we use on getting serial numbers off of firearms, uh, you know, utilizing chemicals to do so. And so they were doing that. We did some infrared technology, uh, video uh, uh, processing. As authorities work to uncover Warner's motivation, the TBI director says everything is still on the table, including the possibility AT&T was the target, the company that formerly employed Warner's father. ATF is in charge of trying to identify what made up the explosive device that was used. Right now, the TBI says that is still unclear. Live at TBI headquarters, I'm Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5.